Because this is going to come down to who wants it more. Yeah, boy. And we fucking want it more this year, don't we? From a player's point of view, I've played against players for club rugby that are average or good players. When they pull in their Woodham Shield jersey, they seem to grow another leg, their heart gets bigger. It just becomes another level of rugby where you get a, a normally nice, placid fella turning into an absolute savage for 18 minutes to try and destroy sometimes his best friend. For South Westland, the Woodham Shield is our way of life. Uh, so you get to express yourself on a rugby field to show how hard South Westland is and how hard the people are here. So we enjoy it when guys from away who end up in a Woodham Shield jersey, they leave the field knowing that they've been in a battle. So that's what we try and install in them, that it's a hard place to be and a hard place to live. And the Shield field is where, where it gets expressed by the young men of South Westland and some old ones. So I play for Waterra, I'm current captain, um, have been for probably about eight or nine years, maybe even ten actually, you know, I think back. Uh, I play in the front row but I have played eight and when I originally started playing I was a winger so I've progressively moved right into the engine room. So you're quite familiar with the uh, dark arts of scrummaging I guess? I, I, it's very clean up front in Woodham Shield, it, it's uh, next level quality rugby and yes, honour amongst gentlemen up front there. Uh, don't think I can ever remember a discrepancy in the front rows. The first game of rugby you'll probably ever watch in South Western will be a Woodham Shield side. Um, my father never played but my uncle did. Um, it's just something that the people before you in South Western have all done so all young men aspire to lift the shield for their, for their town and yeah, it's something that's just bred into us really. and then do the heifers. Yep. And then when you come back, we get the carving cows. 1949, a young guy called George Woodham, I think he was uh, 23 at the time, keen hunter, had a, a tragic accident where he uh, lost his life. He was shot accidentally. And anyway, his family was very devastated. They were hoping that he would take on the, on the farm. The next year, in his honour, they decided to put up a shield because uh, he was a keen rugby player as well. As the years roll on, um, the passion hasn't diminished. It's, it's great to see, like uh, my father played, I've played, and I've got two boys playing today. And um, I think each one of the generation is playing with the, the same amount of passion. Oh, I've been here February, it'll be 83 years. Played for Harry Harry since 1956 to, through to oh, about 1968 or 69, somewhere around about then. How tough was it back then? Oh, is it tough all right? They talk about tough Rand Valley Shield games, but they've never seen a wooden Shield game. I tell you. Yeah, oh, I know, she was really, uh, been some great games, some really, you know, tough games. Was it quite an emotional game? Oh yes, uh, it was. Of course, Georgie being accidentally killed, um, it was really, you know, he was well liked Georgie, it is good bloke. There's quite a few beers afterwards, you know, they all went up the hotel as usual and yeah, had quite a good, good night. So we're in Fox Glacier today and um, we've got our Saturday training before a game of uh, Wadham Shield tomorrow in Wadera. Um So here, yeah, first year with the boots off, I blew my knee out in the last Wadham Shield game I played, so I've had to, had to retire after about 24 years of, of Wadham Shield, so I'm pretty, pretty gutted about it, but, um, but I'm coaching the boys this year, so yeah, I still, still get some hands on. I can remember it as a kid, and it's just what we all thought rugby was growing up, and then to get the chance to play it, and then, you know, we lived and breathed it as kids, and then and, and now, to be a part of it's incredible and it, like it's so magic just to have a competition like this um, you know just gel everyone and, and lift everyone's spirits. The South Western Club splits up into four different areas so it's one club and then in Woodham Shield time it splits up into um, Ross, Harry Harry, Wateroa and then Fox Franz Haast 
and whoever holds the shield challenges each of those players, each of those um, places. Every game's a final because you lose it, you're out, uh, sudden death. But yeah, tomorrow's the final game for the season. So whoever lifts it tomorrow or holds it tomorrow will uh, determine where it's going to hang. We're playing against uh, Watara, is playing south at, at Watara Domain. I expect an epic battle between the two uh, superpowers that they've been for the last uh, few years. If you're not thinking about what I'm sure when you go to sleep tonight, you're fucking, you're not in it for the right reasons. You need yeah. to be living and breathing it for the next 24 hours. When you get there tomorrow, we want to be fucking amped and ready to go. We don't want to have to be going through all this bullshit again. If the decision doesn't go your way, go and talk to Captain about it. Get back team, face up, and fucking man up and get on with it. We're all fucking hurt from the last couple of years. We need to fucking stick it to them. And stick it to them properly. You give it a clean down before you start? So today's Wadham Shield Day. It's been a uh, campaign of three games, this, this being the third. Uh, we've been lucky enough to, um, to hold on to the first two games. Born and bred here, um, had a three year stint in the army. Apart from that, I've lived in the area uh, the rest of my life. You can grab your normal helping, mate, don't you? Come on. You know, we're, we're just a small area. And over the years, we've um, lost our forestry and you know, we don't always have everything um, going for us, but when it comes to Woodham Shield, uh, everyone gets in behind the team and, you know, it's a really good day out. Rob Wilson, you fucking deserve to win that shield today. And I'll tell you one thing, these guys in this room, and there's still two to come, You've got the best fucking troops in this town to do that job. We're giving you the best men. So come forward and get a run. I look around here and he's right. We've got fucking gear like fuck this and gear in the street. And this fortunately that counts for fuck all on the wooden shield field. You've got to do the work. You must do it. It's not going to happen itself. Like everyone's got two legs and an arsehole. They're fucking going to want it just as much as what we do. Maybe fucking, who knows what they're going to come at us with. Because this is going to come down to who wants it more. Yeah, boys. And we fucking want it more this year, don't we? From a player's point of view, I've played against players for club rugby that are average or good players. When they pull in their Woodham Shield jersey, they seem to grow another leg, their heart gets bigger, they have bigger lungs. There's just something about it. Everyone wants to hold it, so it just becomes another level of rugby where you get a, a normally nice, placid fella turning into an absolute savage for 80 minutes to try and destroy sometimes his best friend just to lift that, uh, ha have that over him for a year just to say that he's got the, in this Shield side that's got it for, the, for that year. It's out of respect for the shield and, and your opponent and your mate that you play so hard. You don't, you don't go soft on anyone out there because he's your friend of anything. It gets lifted another level because you, you give them the shield, the respect and the player, the opposition that you're playing against, you're going to do your best and go your hardest. So they know that you've done everything you can. So when you win, you definitely win, but when you lose, you feel it. You know, as you go to a game when you're a young kid, you, you definitely dream you want to wear the green and black jersey and um, you know you, you you see kids that you know and I've seen it they've that games in prams and then they're out in the field you know in, in the future you know a couple of guys wives are pregnant so you know the supporters here that aren't even born yet George was my uncle, my father's brother, younger brother, and um, yeah, we we just keep the memory alive for George. And yeah, each year it's, it means a bit more as you get older, you appreciate it a bit more.
when my grandparents um, first presented the shield in George's memory, they never in their wildest dreams thought 70, you know, one years later, it's still going to be um, contested and with the passion that they do. It's a tribute to South Westland, really, that they've kept this memory going for so long. Hey, same thing up boys, it hurts when you fucking lose and we'd be humble ever. Yeah. Yeah. We're all three cheers for South Earth! Run! 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 Classic Wooden Shield game, eh? Uh, it, was, it was tough right to the end. I don't, I don't think the score reflects the game. Um, yeah, no, it was just tough. It was, uh, yeah, it was a good old fashioned ding dong. Yeah, a lot of local, yeah, yeah, but a bit of, bit of how's your father, you know, but that, you, get that, you get that in the big jobs. Um, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll go and enjoy a beer with him later and be, everything will be sweet, back to normal. What a game, eh? And um, as we talked about yesterday, uh, you know, the passion and the, and, and the pride that goes into it's incredible. You know, unfortunately the result didn't go our way, but um, it was a fair game. The referee was good. We've got no excuses. We, you know, we, we, uh, we, just, we just didn't quite have the goods today, but I'm really, really proud of all those boys and the way they played. Our subs when they came on, um, there's nothing more we could have done. For a bush game of rugby, I tell you what, she was pretty, pretty good stuff, isn't it? Look at the smiles. Uh, they're, they're happy men. It's about building a bit of a, you know, stories and a bit of legacy, and you know, they'll they'll talk about this for 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 a long time. It's something that you don't expect. You you always enjoy the win, and you, yeah, put it away till next year and do it all over again, I suppose. Well, actually, I'm secretly that's my last game. I think that's me out. I'm I'm done. See you next year. Come back and watch her again.